This is James with WSTrades.com. I want to provide an update here on ticker RNAZ or Transcode Therapeutics. So down 13.65% on the day. This thing has been pretty wild. I saw it was trending the other day, of course, when it made this move from like 60 cents to over $3. I took a look at it. I did not make a video on it. I kind of wish I would have because I saw it was trending and it was exploding. Um, so they came out and they talked or they released a press release saying that, hey, we had this positive preclinical results um, with one of their leading therapeutic candidates, TTX-MC138. So they come out with this story talking about, you know, these good results for this preclinical uh, test that they were doing. And this thing rockets from 60 cents to over $3. So really, really insane move. And I think I looked at them um, when they were up around that $3 mark or over that $3 mark, because I was like, man, this is just too big of a move. I think this thing's gonna die. And uh, I looked at them, they didn't have an options chain. I don't really like borrowing shares, although in this case, it would have been fine if I would have been able to borrow shares because uh, they tanked immediately. But you know, I like doing options because it's a lot cheaper. Sometimes the cost to borrow can be really high on some of these stocks. So like, whenever I see an explosion like this, I usually look for options, you know, like sell a call, buy a put, something like that. Um, so I saw the massive move and then they come out the next day. So you can see they dumped pretty hard. They were up at 320. They sold off same day to like a buck 78, rally back up, dumped again in after hours. And then the next day they announced um, dilution and an $8 million offering of common stock and pre-funded warrants. So like immediately, this thing tanks and it goes back right to where it was or below where it was, um, you know, before it went on this insane run here. So, you know, this is a perfect example of why I short things that make like one, two, three, five hundred percent moves. Sometimes we see stuff doing thousand percent moves. And this is exactly why I short this thing, you know, these types of stocks. Now, this is just like bang, bang, perfect timing where they announce these results and then they come out and dilute the hell out of the shareholders like the next day. So this was really nice timing where it was just like boom, boom. So if you would have shorted, you know, right off of this insane pump, bam, you would have saw returns like immediately. Um, it's not always like this. Sometimes these things do stay afloat for days or weeks or sometimes even a month or more. Um, but typically when you see these penny stocks make these kinds of moves, this is the type of price action we see. Again, sometimes it doesn't happen immediately. Sometimes it takes a while, but we've seen it so many times. Things like B-Big, things like Tupperware. Look at Tupperware now, it's down back under two. Um, so huge move down, huge dump. You know, we saw Redbox go from like a couple bucks to like 15 bucks or something ridiculous like that. So, you know, whenever you see these several hundred percent and sometimes thousand percent or more moves, you know, this is why I target these types of stocks because this is the price action that we see. Um, so, you know, just be mindful of this stuff. When you see these penny stocks make these massive moves like this, just realize that it's probably not gonna hold up and this is a perfect example, um, you know, and this kind of reminds me of space. I think they did one of their first space flights or something. Um, it may have been back in June. I'd have to go back and look at their news stories, but this really reminds me of space because they came out and did a space flight, I believe. And, you know, the news story was, hey, look at us. We did our successful space flight. And then, bam, they came out with like a $400 million offering and just diluted the hell out of everybody like the next day or something. It was like very similar timing to like we're seeing here. So again, this is, you know, why I target stocks like these and you know, it ends up working out most of the time. You'll see price action like this. So I'll continue to keep you updated here on ticker RNAZ or Transcode Therapeutics. Please like this video. Please also subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Appreciate you for taking the time to watch this. Talk to you soon.